Now, if you run a business, your staff are your most valuable asset, no doubt about it. But how often have you heard a boss say that? Well, retaining your best employees is key to the health of business. And that explains the growth of an entire industry dedicated to rewards and perks to keep employees loyal. One of those firms is called Reward Gateway, and it helps some of the world's biggest firms, such as American Express, Unilever, Samsung, IBM, and McDonald's. The big billion dollar question is, does it work? Glenn Elliott is CEO and founder of Reward Gateway. He's with me here in the studio. I guess the starting point really is nowadays, when, when things move so fast and, and the world has changed such a lot, what do people respond to in terms of incentives? I think people respond to a good work environment uh, where they've got really great communications with their company, uh, they've got a culture of recognition and their work is valued, uh, and they've got honesty and transparency in the workplace. So I think perks and reward is all part of that, and I think uh, having a good culture where people can be honest with each other, get, see great leadership and have open and honest communication, that's, that's what they respond to. But the description you give, does that apply to all parts of the workforce? Because it seems to me that people are going to be very different. People are very, very different, but I think fundamentally people like to be treated as humans. Of course. Um, everyone wants to be treated with respect, and everyone wants to be asked their opinion and given a chance to contribute. So I don't think that employee engagement is something for just your senior staff. And I think, you know, the work we do over the last 10 years, we work with people like McDonald's and Ikea. Uh, we've worked with lots of people who've got a lot of staff in retail and manufacturing and, and uh, warehousing and logistics, and they really see the difference too. Mm. So, what sort of rewards and perks can they be offered? Oh, there's everything from, you know, discounts on shopping and services, but thank you awards. And I think, you know, companies often get quite tied up on the value of awards and thank yous that they're giving to staff and to be honest the most effective thing is making sure you, be, you say the thank you at the right time so uh, we always advise our clients let's not get too caught up on the value of what you're attaching to a thank you and make sure that you make the thank you at the right time and really they should be open to everyone or just the most talented staff I think you should have an inclusive work environment you know companies employ an awful lot of people and they should be looking to get the best out of all of their workforce um, so we always, uh, we always have a, a culture of, of openness, including everyone. There, Ms. Lever, thank you very much indeed, Kennedy.